Hi everyone, it's Miss Elise from the Morristown and Morris Township Library, and today, for today's craft, I have a bit of jewelry making for you. Um, I had found these stones on a beach this summer and decided I wanted to create some jewelry with them. And today I'm going to show you guys how to actually recreate this yourself. So, let's get started. The materials you're going to need aren't usually household items. I went to Michael's to find these things, but you're going to need a wire cutter. Um, this is actually a three-in-one tool, so it helps you bend the wire, cut the wire, and loop the wire all in one, which is really handy, especially for this because we are wire wrapping. You're also going to need a pencil. Just a regular run-of-the-mill pencil will be fine, or a pen if you have one instead of a pencil. You're also going to need some craft wire. Um, this wire is 26 gauge, um, which means that the thinness of the wire is really, the thickness of the wire is really thin, um, and it also is in a silver copper, um, which I just prefer, but you can get them in other colors. And last but not least, you're going to need your chain of choice. Definitely get something with a lobster clasp at the back and it is of your preferred length. So this one is 16 inches, which I much prefer, over an 18 inch necklace. But if you want to do a bracelet, you can totally do that too. And last but not least, you're going to need your stones. So these are small pebbles, which I found on a beach, but you can obviously use um, whatever stone you want. It could be a, like a real gemstone or it could be um, a fake gemstone or it can be a rock. It can be virtually anything that you want it to be. I really liked the look of these because they're really small and smooth and almost pebble-like so it gives more of a rustic look to this craft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by twisting the wire halfway around the pencil and then pinching the two sides together so they pull out like so and then wrapping one over the other like so to get it really tight around the pencil and then I'm going to be twisting them together in a second yeah here I'm twisting them together to really seal off that loop and create the loop for where our necklace chain is going to go. Once you slide that off your pencil, you can maneuver the loop a little bit so it's a little bit straighter and more combined. And then you're going to lay your uh, rock or stone and you're just going to wrap the two edges of the wire around the rock in various different ways that you think looks the best. Um, I went with a really random pattern just because this is my first time ever doing it and I didn't really know what to expect, so um, I just went with something random that I thought looked cool. Um, the more times you wrap it, I think, um, in my opinion, the worse it looks, but obviously you can wrap the whole thing if you want to, too, in the wire. Uh, my personal preference is just to be as minimal as possible because I think it looks nicer. But once you are finished wrapping, you want to make sure that both wires are um, on the edge of the back, or on the back of your stone, and you're going to twist them together like we did to create the seal off the loop. And, um, and then we're just going to cut off the excess using the uh, wire cutter. This um, tool um, is really difficult to use sometimes if you don't have a great grip, so definitely ask an adult or someone who has a better grip for help during this process. And also be really careful with the wire, it can get really sharp once you cut it. But there we have our little pendant with the hoop. Isn't that cool? Nice. So we're now going to be putting it onto the chain, which is fairly simple. I'm just going to undo the lobster clasp of this necklace chain, 
and loop one end through the hull of the loop that we created with earlier with the wire. I'm then going to just slide it on and reclasp the necklace so that we have our finished product. Isn't it look great? I thought it was a really lovely little piece of jewelry that didn't take very much time to actually create and was fairly inexpensive as long as you um, got some cheaper wire and a cheaper necklace chain. You can wear this necklace um, with anything that you think looks particularly good with it um, and you can definitely create different options with this too. Here I'm making two other necklaces for a couple friends of mine because we all wanted to share as a bit of like a friendship necklace kind of thing. Um, but as I was saying, you can definitely do a lot with these. You can go to your local craft store and see what kinds of options they have in their jewelry making department. Um, you can make a bracelet, you can make earrings, you could even probably make a ring out of it too. and Or even barrettes, that would look really cool. But you can definitely really change it up, which is really great and really versatile. So this is me um, trying it on for you in some modeling shots. Um, the necklace, I think, suits me very well. I really, really enjoy the necklace length, um, since it would go with most things. And it looks really rustic, yet also very put together at the same time. And the silver really suits my skin tone. I think and adds a really nice touch to a simple or ordinary shirt that you may be wearing that day. And you can tell people you made it too. And that's like really cool because not a lot of people make their own jewelry and um, it's kind of, it is an art and people will be so impressed by what you make. It, this makes an amazing gift too. You can definitely give it to your friends, your mom. Um, your dad even if he wanted one, um, your sibling or maybe a, gra a grandfather or a grandmother. It makes, it's a really personalized touch and adds a bit of flair to anybody's wardrobe for sure. So thank you guys so much for hopping along with me on today's craft. I really hope you guys enjoyed making these necklaces with me today. I certainly had a lot of fun making them myself and we'll definitely be making more in the future. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next week with another amazing craft video and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye!